Hello and welcome to the Chamber of E-Commerce. My name is Don Collis and today we're going to be talking about the Chamber of E-Commerce and a little bit more about what it is and to give you some insight about uh, what we offer uh, online business owners. One of the first questions that I often get is what is the Chamber of E-Commerce and how is it different from the Chamber of Commerce? Well, the Chamber of Commerce is really good at helping local business owners in their local communities um, to get out there, to network, socialize, to give classes and training for doing business in your local geographic area. Well, how is the Chamber of E-Commerce different than the Chamber of Commerce? Well, the Chamber of E-Commerce is expressly set up and targeted to help online business owners, not just the local um, garden variety of business owners. Um, and the reason for this is that the needs for an online business owner is different from the needs that an, a brick and mortar business owner will face and the training is different as well. Um, let me give you a couple for instances. Um, somebody who, a customer, consumer out there is going to go to work and they're going to stop by their local store, convenience store, they're going to pick up a cup of coffee. Why? Because it's on the way to work. Well that same model doesn't apply to online businesses because it's not a convenience um, for a driving distance. There's other convenience factors there as well. One more of the examples out there of the differences between an online business and how an online business receives customers and a local geographic a brick and mortar business receives its customers is versus location, location, location. Well, with a online business, it's not so much about the location of which server that you use or, you know, I'm at the block of such and such. It's more about the content that's out there and how to get those consumers to your site with the content not only on your site, but also in the real world pointing back to your site and vice versa. So when you're talking about an online business as far as an e-commerce store or an organizational website or anything in between, maybe you have a blog site, um, there are a lot of things out there that you have to know to be successful online. And a lot of those local geographic really have the tools available for a local brick and mortar business model. Um, there's all, also other things out there too. When you're doing sales and you're, you're creating those sales through a brick and mortar business, there's a lot of things with your store Front, the things that are in your store, the presentation of your store, um, uh, your products on the shelves, how much you should carry, the limitations of those things. Well, with an online business model, you don't have to worry about those limitations as far as how much stock you have to have on your shelves. You can carry an infinite amount of stock. You don't even have to purchase those products to be able to be sold um, for the consumer to be able to buy those. You're not also limited by, you know, hey, I've got to go out there and buy some really expensive lighting for my store. I got to put some really huge signs up there. I got to worry about building codes and paying for utilities and paying for this shopkeeper so to speak um, all those things with a property design and maintained website from an online business center all those things don't really cost you anything because you don't have to worry about storage space because you're not storing the product you don't have to worry about paying for the employees to tend the store where there's not customers there your website's open 24 hours a day seven days a week which also means that you don't have to worry about paying those nasty taxes for employee compensation you don't don't have to worry about you know your website getting sick one day not showing up and uh, being able to sell your products or service you don't have to worry about you know uh, your store shutting down because there's a blizzard outside and, and matter of fact the opposite of that situation is true. The the worse the weather is outside, the more sales that you will work on, on your website. Um, the, uh, the the worse the economy is, the more sales you'll make on your website. Why? Because it's more of a convenience for somebody to get online while they're at work, while they're at home, while they're playing, while they're doing anything. The cell phones today have the ability to get online anywhere in the world. You know, you have total access from all around the world for the consumer-based market. To to come and buy and to experience your products, your site, to refer other people through word of mouth, through social media integration. There's a lot of different things out there that, again, these local groups that you know are really great for brick and mortar type of business models, um, they really don't transfer over to the entrepreneurial world of doing business. Um, the Chamber of E-Commerce is really about this, is really about help people who want to get online, want to start an online business, or want to do their online business better to make higher profits. 
to show you how to do this, to show you how to do it effectively. And we offer a lot of the same services that a traditional chamber of commerce offers. We offer mentorship programs where you're with experts in the field who have been doing this for years and years and years, who've had successful businesses online, who can walk you through, someone you can ask questions to, someone that you can get that mentorship from, someone that, that will help you walk on those stones that they stumbled upon. We've also got peer-to-peer -peer groups that allow you basically basically to talk to people and to network with people who are doing the same things that you're doing. Operating online businesses, you can bounce off ideas with each other. You'll have a network of people really accessible for you to chat with, to talk with, to share information, to network, to link together, link from each other's sites to make sales of. And we've also had business networking out there too. So you can also network not only with the other business owners that are members of the chamber, but also with the people who come to the chamber's site. We'll have links on how you can do that as well. We also offer forums for everybody out there. So you can go and ask specific questions about specific topics and get specific answers from your peers, from mentors, from people in those different organizations. And just like the Chamber of Commerce, we also offer specialized training that will aid in your success online. All the specialized training is offered to all our members of the Chamber of E-Commerce. Um, these specialized training segments are all to be able to do the things they need to do more effectively. Online e-commerce, online traffic, um, how to promote and advertise. Uh, it, one other, again, another one of those differences is that when you want to get sales into your site for a e-commerce store or an online web presence, you do not have to pay for advertising. You don't have to go out there and do that. There's a lot of ways that you can use search engine optimization for one to gain a uh, customer base. You can use social networking to get a customer base you can use videos and audio podcasts and a lot of other different platforms to advertise and there is um, a way that you can advertise if we should do so advertising is a lot less expensive um, and it produces a lot better results and you can actually track your advertising dollars um, advertising such as Google AdWords um, allows businesses online to pay for only the people that come to their site um, you've also got affiliate marketing which is you can go out there and you could uh, sign up to an affiliate marketing campaign and they will only pay for the advertising that actually makes a sale for a product so instead of paying for a newspaper ad per se that you know you you pay for a run of a day or in a certain size and no matter if that newspaper ad makes you a sale or doesn't make you a sale you still have to pay for the advertising same with this holds true for television for the phone book advertisement out there and for uh, a lot of other different types of paper uh, uh, media out there the internet is so uh, fundamentally fantastic in that it has a lot of different options to suit your budget to suit your means and to suit you really what you want to do um, the chamber of e-commerce is a really great step forward for anybody who's getting started or already has an online business and we really want to see you down here. Go ahead and check out all of our other podcasts on our site at thechamberofe-commerce.com. Uh, my name is Don Collis, and thank you for coming to the Chamber of E-Commerce and listening to the Chamber Chat Podcast. We'll see you next time at thechamberofe-commerce.com.